This video will demonstrate how to work with the presets for finding an update. As well, we will see how to save, delete, export, and import these presets. Sometimes, when you are defining jobs in the workload automation client, you will have the need to do changes on your jobs, like the application name, group name, host group, etc. You can do all these changes with find an update, and also you can save the find an update configuration that you are using as a preset, and then use this preset in the future. You can, for example, have a very complex configuration for find an update, and save this and modify it in the next usage. On this example, I have defined some jobs where I will have to change the application name. If we see on this job, the application name is test app. Now, I will use find an update to change the application name for all the jobs inside this folder. If I click on find an update, you will see that you can specify the find criteria and also the update criteria. If I click here, and I go to general, I will see the option for parent folder. I can specify the asterisk to find all the folders in the workspace. If I click on find, you will see that all the jobs that I have here are finded. Now, if I want to be more specific, I will type the name of the folder. If I do find, you will see that only these jobs are represented. Now, I want to change the application name and it's going to be the same option. I just have to click and select the parameter that I want to update. This case is the application. So I will type, for example, primary name. If I do click and update, you will see that these values are modified. We can check it by doing double click on this job. It will open the job properties and you will see that now the application name is primary name. Now, if you want to save this find an update configuration, you can click on presets, save, and then enter the name of this preset. In this case, I will call it application name. I will do click on OK. And then if I do click on clear to delete all the configuration, and I'll do click on presets again, on the load option, you will see that now I have the application name that, that we already saved. If I click here, you will see that all the parameters and values are loaded in the find and update criteria. You can also delete the presets. If you select delete, now for example, let's delete this. You will have to click on yes in this confirmation window. And if we listed all the presets that we have, you will see that we don't have that example preset. Now, this is for working on your workstation. You can also transfer these uh, presets to another installation. These presets are saved in the next path. It will be always under the user uh, information. As you can see here, it's not in the installation path of the client, it's in the app data for the user. And this, in this case, I have these presets for me. I can take these file names to another machine and paste it in the same location and I will be able to use them as well. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.